We're talking about self-tapping screws. Why self-tapping screws? I mean, it's a simple little thing, but let me tell you something. These things are a lifesaver, and they are the first thing I put into my any new drill box case I get. Just picked up a new drill. We've got an install we're doing tomorrow, and well, my drill died. I need another drill. So I went and picked up a new Hitachi. I don't know, have you guys ever used these? This is my first Hitachi. Well, usually I trash things pretty quick, but we'll see, I'll let you know. Now I could seriously spend an hour talking about all of the many ways in which I have used self-tapping screws out in the field. They seriously are a lifesaver. Always have self-tapping screws of varying sizes and gauges in your kit. I'm not gonna talk about all these different ways that we use them. What I'm gonna do is give you a, a few little tips on what you should know and things to be aware of and things you, sh you should always carry with you when using self-tapping screws. Now, the huge obvious plus about a self-tapping screw is that, well, it does all the drilling for you. You don't need to pre-drill a hole to mount one of these things. But that's also where you can get into a lot of trouble and that is when you just assume <laughs> that these things are going to work. Let me tell you that 90% of the time, they're gonna work just great and it's gonna save you a lot of time and you're gonna love them to death. But then there's that 10% where they're gonna suck and they're gonna fail and they're not gonna work. They're not gonna drill a hole. Or even worse, the head is going to break off, which has been known to happen many, many times. So tip number one is to always make sure that you still are carrying the right size drill bits for your project, even though you might have thousands of these things. So tip number two is to go ahead and get yourself a socket bit for your screw gun that's gonna fit the different size heads of your self-tapping screws. So whatever you have carrying around, I always make sure I have several of these things in my bag and they're all different sizes to fit the different size heads. Now the great thing about these things is, well, they're usually magnetic, so you can just pop your screw in there, but that way your screw is not going to fall out. A lot of these things, they come with a flat head screwdriver. Don't use your screwdriver bits to try to drive these in. It's easy to strip the heads and, and think about it. You're pushing down really hard. This thing is actually doing the drilling for you. You really want more hugging on to that screw than just a flat head bit, right? Right. And the last tip is to make sure you actually have a socket for your socket wrench that will fit all your different size screw heads. Now, why would you wanna use a socket wrench if you're using your drill to mount these? Well, the thing is, is a lot of times it is really, really easy to pop these heads off, to break them off. Think about it. You're putting a lot of force and effort and into drilling this thing into metal. It gets hot and it's really easy with all the torque from the drill to just break these heads off. And then you're kind of screwed. You gotta drill it out. And then a lot of times, especially if you're doing an interior project, that can cause you a lot of trouble. So, using a socket wrench to hand tighten this the last bit of the way is a great way to ensure you're not gonna get in any trouble when mounting these. Now, as far as the different sizes to keep in your kit, well, that's totally up to you and the type of projects that you use, but I'm here to tell you that if you do any kind of installing of railings or balconies or anything ornamental like that, these are a lifesaver and you're gonna to want to keep them in your kit at all times.